Okay, kids, so now we're going to work with, uh, with layers, and we're going to learn a couple of cool little tricks and tips and things that they do. So I uh, went ahead and created this, uh, this document and added a couple of layers and images to it. Um, if you look over here at the Layers palette, you'll want to make sure that this is activated. If it's not, such as that, you're going to go to Window and drag down to Layers. It's all alphabetized, so it'll be easy for you to find, or you can hit F7. So now it's activated. You can see here that I have four layers. My background layer, the purple layer, the layer with the yellow butterfly, and the layer with the blue butterfly. The purple background and the yellow butterfly have been grouped together, and we'll get a little bit we'll get into uh, how I did that later. Uh, to expand the group and see what uh, what objects are in it, you're going to hit this little arrow off to the left there. To collapse the group again and hide all of its contents, just click. And then click again to open. So to interact with individual layers, you're going to want to make sure that your move tool is activated. And you can do that by hitting your V key or by going over here to the layers palette and making sure that this top tool is activated. So uh, I want to move my yellow butterfly. I have to make sure that his layer is activated. So you go over to your layers palette and activate it and then click and drag him around. If I want to move the yellow butterfly, same thing. Click on his layer, move him around. Same thing with the purple. Click the layer, move it around. So it's really as simple as that. Um, there is another way, kind of an easier way, um, to uh, interact with individual objects. Uh, and then it, it, that involves a, a couple of, sorry, a few less steps. Uh, and one way to do that is uh, come up here to your options toolbar. If you don't see your options toolbar and it looks like that, then you'll want to come up to Window again and drag down to Options. Make sure there's a checkbox next to it. If there's not, you should click on it and then it'll pop up. As you can see, all of the currently active palettes and windows all have checkboxes next to them. Tools is here, Options is up here, Layers over there, History, this one down here, Character, is uh, text attributes and that one's right there. So my options is uh, active and you come up here to auto select which is off the left. Make sure that has a little checkbox next to it like that. Make sure it says layer and if it's n if it doesn't just click on this little double arrow there and drag down to layer. So now we have that set and you can click on any layer in the document any object as long as it's on its own layer and it will move. So click and drag on the blue butterfly and you can move it around. Yellow butterfly, click and drag on him. Purple, background, move that around. And I'm just clicking and dragging. Clicking and dragging, clicking and dragging. Simple as that. The other neat thing you can do is you can auto select groups in the same way that we just did with the layers by clicking and dragging on them. You're going to go back up to the options palette to where we selected layer but this time you are going to select group. And so back in our options palette, or layers palette, excuse me, earlier when I mentioned that I had grouped the yellow butterfly and the purple background together. See we can expand and contract them. These two are in a group which means when I have group auto selected and I click on an object that object and everything in its group is going to move with it so I'm going to click on the yellow butterfly and it's going to move with the purple background because they're in the same group together if I click on the blue butterfly he's going to move by himself because he's not an actually in a group so Photoshop thinks that that's a separate group which technically it is but so these two are in a group and they move, he's not. So if you want to do this another way, if I wanted to move just the blue butterfly and the purple background together, 
put those two in a group together and they'll move around. Simple as that. And the yellow butterfly doesn't move because he's not in their group. And the way the layers palette works is you can move layers in and out of groups simply by dragging them. This whole thing is sort of hierarchical. Uh, layers on top are literally on top. And layers on the bottom are on the bottom. They're literally stacked. So we're going to select auto select layers again. So as you can see this yellow butterfly because it's higher in the list than the blue butterfly is on top. We can change that by dragging the blue butterfly higher up on the list than the yellow butterfly. See how this switch places. And with the purple. If I wanted the purple to cover the two butterflies I just drag them higher in the list than the other guys. So that's pretty much it. Um, that will get you started uh, on your first couple of projects. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel to post them in the comments or if anything needs to be clarified and I'll get back to you. Hope you guys have enjoyed.